Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the viewer questions today is about a PC that is actually built. And um, this is an error that probably some of you have seen. It's possible if you've been using a PC for a long, long time. You might have seen that um, as a tech guy. Of course, that's an error message I recognize quickly. So you're just using your PC, doing whatever you're doing, and suddenly, out of the blue, out of you know nowhere, bang, blue screen, and it is IRQL not less or equal. And of course, this one is one of the popular error messages out there. It might come with some error code, you know, 0x1a, whatever. Um, what does it mean? What is an IRQL not less or equal? In a general terms, 90% of the time, it's a hardware issue. Um, you might say, well, no, it's Windows, it's crashing again. No, Windows is crashing because of hardware. And so this means that there are a few steps that you might take. Now, in this case that we have now, the uh, error comes from a PC that was built. I would probably suggest that you check the device drivers that you've installed for the different parts of your system. It's often a device driver that crashed. And the device driver that crashed could be crashing because of the driver being a bad version. So check if you have a different version you can install. Um, now, you might say, well, you know, which one? Well, it's one of the device drivers that's probably the most common. So display driver, uh, sound driver, things like that. But there's definitely something on the hardware that's not right. And you'll have to tweak and play around with that. In um, another case of what's happening, and this is a step-by-step -step process. For example, if you have a new PC that you built, what I would suggest is that you start with running it with the bare minimum hardware that you can run it with and slowly add each parts that you can add later after you've installed Windows and run it on the basic system. Um, one of the things that could be happening also, and it's not a, you know, it's a possibility, um, IRQ not less or equal can sometimes come from antivirus software because antivirus software are sometimes install their own drivers or sometimes mess with drivers that are existent on the system and some incompatibility can actually, you know, form between all of this. So if you are running into this, first of all, if it never happened before and it starts happening, the first thing you should think about is, what did I do? What did I change? What, you know, what happened? Uh, one of the things you can also check out is if Windows might not have installed a device driver that you didn't have before. So you can go into your settings and you can go and check out in the Windows update history if something installed in your device that wasn't there before. So in other updates, you can check if there's anything special, configuration, um, changes, anything that installed that wasn't there before. You can also uh, check out in uh, their uh, driver updates, which are the most important. What installed? Did, did a driver install that wasn't there before? So that could be a cause of an issue with a IRQL or, you know, not uh, less or equal. So check out, did Windows install something without you actually knowing it, especially in the driver updates section? So these are things to look at. Did you install software that wasn't there yesterday, the day before? It crashed. Did the antivirus do a big update? Um, these are all things that you'll have to troubleshoot slowly, but um, you probably, not, like I said, 90% of the time, errors with hardware or drivers or 
software incompatibilities. But an IRQL not less or equal is almost never due to Windows in any way. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.